So today we're replacing our toilet and the half bathroom that we're kind of redoing some flooring and kind of redoing the whole thing. Um, this is a Glacier Bay all-in-one dual flush high efficiency toilet available at Home Depot. This is where we're installing and replacing the one. Uh, we redid the floor. A uh, quick tip, if you are going to uh, redo your, your baseboard, put that on before you put the toilet in because you'll never get that, that back there without making a couple different cuts and having some seams back there. So it's not nailed. I just set it into place. That way I can come back later, give it a nail. Um, the old one is the old water line. I shut it off, but this is pretty frozen on there. So I'm kind of hoping I can reuse it. If not, uh, I may have to remove this and put a new um, new shut off on. The shut off still works, it's just that is kind of frozen on there. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you have time, I don't have time today, but I would prime all these walls. You can see the old toilet, they redid this bathroom a couple different times, never redid anything. Uh, but when we go to paint, I'll probably remove the toilet and put uh, put a new wax ring and stuff on there. Um, yeah, I cleaned that up the best I could. Uh, the wax wings are there, kind of gross and nasty. I used a putty knife, kind of get it all out of there, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just putting another wax ring over it. So first thing we're gonna do is unpack our box. So I got the box laid out, parts and pieces. Here is the base. Uh, this is obviously the bottom. It's where your wax ring will end up going and your bolts go through there. Um, laid out, we got our tank cover. We have the tank. Uh, if you lay it out, uh, put, you know, put it on the cardboard so you don't scratch it up or accidentally ding it up or something. Um, so this comes, here's the water lines so where we'll mount it to the base. And then if we go inside here, now I unpacked everything. Uh, bolt covers that'll go on the tank. This is the flushing system. Uh, this one's got the, you know, one for one, two for two. Uh, it uses less water. We have the instructions. Then over here, we this is the, the little ceiling gasket, and this is the wax ring. The wax ring uh, was in this box, and I spent a few minutes trying to find my mounting bolts that go into that plug. And it turns out they're, uh, they were in this wax ring box. Um, so I was looking around, thought I thought I was going to have to make a run to the hardware store. Didn't have to. And then I read the box and it says mounting hardware inside. So it just be uh, just be smart and read everything. Um, so now that that's done, we're going to take our mounting bolts and we're going to put them on the flange and then we'll kind of go piece by piece. All right, so step one is inserting these bolts onto the, uh, the drain flange, the toilet flange. Uh, these come with a wing nut, which we want to keep, so keep that off to the side. And it also has a little hex nut. I've never had one with one of these hex nuts before. So when we take that off, you slide that in there, you see one side's long, one side short, slide it in there, move it into place, and give it a little turn, 90 degrees, so that it's sticking up the way you want it. And then we're just gonna thread this bolt on here, and we're gonna hand tighten that on there. Uh, that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, I've never had one that had those and uh, you get that on there and the bolts are kind of shifting around and I've had them rotate on me and uh, kind of a pain in the butt at times. So just kind of hold that bolt to make it in there and that one's in. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then I'm going to go get the base and carry the base in here. All right, so I brought the base in and what we're going to do is install this uh, wax ring on top of our toilet here. So we're going to unpack the wax ring. And here it is. And you just take this and you set it in there right on top of the hole like that. Just kind of give it a little push so that it stays on. And that, that's pretty much it. You want this little black part up because that's gonna go inside the hole over here. So black part up, kind of got it centered on there. Give it just a little push that way it doesn't pop off. So then we're gonna flip this toilet over and we're gonna set it on that flange. All right, so here we go. We're gonna pick up the base, flip it over, have a good hold. And we're gonna look, you can see the bolts down there, at least I can. And we're gonna set it in there. Where both of them are hitting the bolts. There's that one and that one, and we're good. So we're squared up. I'm gonna give it a little push down just to spread that wax around. And we got a bolt sticking up on that side and a bolt sticking up on that side. So we are all set. You know, it's a good time to stand in front of it. You know, move it to make sure you're nice and straight. All right, now that our bolt's in place, make sure you apply that weight evenly. After you have it set, you don't wanna move it around anymore. 
Yeah, so now we're gonna secure these, uh, the toilet to the floor. So you open that packet that had the washer and the little cap in it, grab our wing nuts from earlier, and you take it, you look at it. If you look at this, on this side, it says this side up. So throw that on so that side's up, and then we're gonna put our wing nut on there. Now I like to hold the bolt in place. I don't want that bolt to spin. So if it spins, uh, it, might not, it might take itself off of that toilet flange a little bit. So once we get down to the bottom, make sure and you crank it down a little bit. Now, once it starts getting tight, you don't really have to worry about that moving. So we're gonna crank this one down and then um, it's just hand tight, you know, you don't have to go nuts. And then I'm gonna do the other side so that we're kind of evenly uh, pulling it down and then we'll put these caps on. All right, so we got these tightened down and now we're gonna put the cap on. Now, if for some reason the cap doesn't go on, it might mean that this isn't tight enough. Because you see, as you tighten that down, this part here like really kind of comes up a little bit and makes that lift. So if I can get on here and it snaps in, then you're good. If, it, if you can't get it to snap, try tightening that a little more. But like I said, that'll lift up the outside and that'll snap in. So now that our, our toilet bowl is nice and secured to the floor and evenly on there, we're going to get the top tank on. All right, so we carried the tank in. So first thing we're gonna do is take off these bolts here. So you take off the little wing nut and the oval washer, set that aside. Uh, if you use your sink as a workbench like I am right now, make sure you have the, the drain closed so you don't lose anything down the drain. So I'll take that one off as well. Grab that. And then now you're gonna grab our gasket. So this gasket goes between the tank and the toilet, keeps it nice and watertight. So big side down, and you just press that in the spot, make sure it's nice and even, and you know, one side's not kinked or something weird. And so now that that's there, there's a camera here, and we are going to lift it up, turn it over, and put it in place. And you wanna make sure you're all the way on there, where it's supposed to be. Bolts are in, so now we're gonna go on the underside and install our oval washer and our wing nut. All right, so we're on the underside. We're gonna pull that metal washer all the way up there. And I'm gonna take that swing nut. So we're throwing it on there. We're just gonna crank that down. Uh, my other hand's holding that washer in place. Just don't want it dropping or rotating on me. So now I'm starting to get tight. Now it's just hand tight. You don't have to grab a wrench or, or anything. Uh, Cause really you just kinda wanna hold it from, from shaking and moving and breaking the seal. If you over tighten, you can break something. So that's done, that's all it was. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, now that our lid is nice and secure, we're gonna install the top with the uh, little flusher system. Uh, you know which side goes on what, uh, because inside you can see there's blue and gray. So your blue is for number one, gray is for number two. So first, take off our white holder here, washer, nut, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to grab our tank. It's going to go on there like that, obviously, right? And the blue side was on my left. So I'm just going to press that in there. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb, and then you just take this guy here and you just thread it. Thread it on the back, and again, it'll just be hand, hand tightened. All right, now that's tight. I can place it on the lid. You can press, you can kind of hear it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. You can hear it pressing on the little, little guys. So our next step is to connect the water line. I mentioned earlier I had some trouble with this water line and it turns out it doesn't reach. So I have a new line. I just got to see if I can get it off here. So I'm gonna grab some wrenches and see if I can get it off there without uh, having to replace that valve. All right, it took a couple cuss words and a uh, couple goddamns, but we got that uh, that piece off. Um, the, the part is worried about it, they don't want to break this line or snap this and you know water starts shooting out at, at high pressure uh so got it off happy with that and got the new 
the water line that we want to put on here. Um, generally speaking, I like to connect it to the toilet first. I don't think there's a, a right or a wrong here. It just, since that goes up, I just find it easier to put it on first. So you take out the little uh, protector there, the little washer that came out. That's so if you use those plastic lines, um, I've never really used them. You can stick it up in there and it acts like a compression fitting. Uh, so that hose comes through here and it gives you your washer and whatnot. I always just buy these. these I mean, these aren't that expensive and it comes with a built-in washer, kind of the same basic system. So you know, it's gonna put it up here, tighten it on, make sure I'm not cross-threading, which it looks like I am. There we go. and the anti this plastic to plastic connection so if you crank down on it you, you have a good chance of cracking something and breaking it so i'm just going to go by hand here i'm not that strong so should be all right so i'm just going to go about that tight um to where it's just a little bit more pressure to turn it and then once we turn the water on we'll check it if it's leaking a little bit you can just tighten it back up so now we'll come to this bottom part kind of Bend our hose around so we're going straight on. And make sure you're not cross threading, you want it kind of loose. So you start turning, there we go. We caught. So we're just gonna crank that down by hand first. And then we're gonna grab a wrench. On um, this one, it's a 5 8 And I'm just gonna tighten it on there. We're not gonna go super duper tight, um, just tight enough to where that that washer is just a little bit compressed in there to keep the water from coming out. So about there, it's good. All right. So now that our water line is on, we can turn it on and it'll start filling the tank and we will see what happens here. So I'm just gonna take it, this is a quarter turn one. A quarter turn, you can hear that water. Yeah, keep an eye on your connections here to make sure that you don't have any water uh, coming out. So you kind of look around, you can pick up the lid. Um, just on a side note, I have seen people caulk around this seam here. I don't personally like doing that because if there's any type of leak and there's water or sewer, yeah, sewer water coming out of coming out of here because the wax wing broke, I want it to come out. I want to be able to see it. I don't want that seeping down into into the floor and into the sheathing. So I'm just going to stand up here. We're going to take this lid off and you can see that that water is filling up. So once that's totally full, you'll also see it start coming out and filling your tank. So this initial fill is going to fill the tank, tank and the bowl. Uh, so our next step after this goes, we'll give it a test, but we need to get the toilet seat on. All right, so as that water is filling up, we're going to go ahead and put a toilet seat on. So this thing comes with a toilet seat. It's the most basic of basic toilet seats. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, I was actually thinking about replacing it with one of those uh, slow close ones. Um, get, a little, get a little fancy with my toilet here. Um, but it comes with just a couple parts here. We have the nuts, the bolts, and the washers. So pretty, pretty simple process here. You open these up. They just pop open. Yeah, those two little tabs there. Go on that, go on that tab, obviously. So, just thread your bolt through. So it's sitting in there. And then from the bottom side, you put a washer and then put the nut. Now it's hard to get in there to get everything. Uh, sometimes there's not a lot of space. So if you run out of space, they're slotted, these bolts are slotted for a screwdriver. So, you just come in here, and you just tighten it from this side, pull the nut on the bottom, and it makes it just a lot easier. Um, you can try using a drill if you want, but these are plastic, and a drill, if it binds at all, you're gonna, you're gonna kind of ruin the, the top part there, and you won't be able to do this again. So that, I just kind of hand tightened. That way we can move it around a little bit to get it centered on our bowl. And then, so we'll get that side in, 
We'll tighten them up once I get it all centered and then you just pop and push right back in and your toilet seat is now installed. All right, so to recap, put the base in with the wax ring, fasten it to the toilet flange, connected that on with some bolts, the top tank there, set all that up, and we got our seat in. If you open it, you can see there's some water. So now it's the test. So we're gonna come over here. Let's just say I went number one, we'll press the one. And that's the uh, low, I think it's like one gallon, whereas number two is uh, one and a half gallon. So just give it a test, just kind of keep an eye over the next day or two uh, for any water, just kind of feel under there. You should never feel any water, um, nothing down there. Sometimes I'll even put like a paper towel or a newspaper down. If I come in and it's wet, then you know that uh, something's leaking and it's not, not working correctly. Um, and that's the last thing you want, you don't want water damage and whatnot. The old one, I took the floor up and there's all kinds uh, where someone wasn't paying attention. So that's uh, in a nutshell, that is it. Our toilet is in and functional. And again, this was a uh, Glacier Bay high efficiency elongated dual flush toilet install. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and hit subscribe.